I feel amazing. I just got back from Lead On, the fitness professional leadership conference at DePaul University in Chicago. It was so much fun. I was so inspired. I learned so, so, so much. It was really, really incredible. Something that I got to experience in Chicago was Karen's Raw Vegan Bistro. Here, do I have a menu with me? Check it out. Karen's Raw Vegan. Mm, so good. It was so good, so good, so good. But on our way back home today, my friends that I was with, there was about eight other people from Purdue represented. Um, they all wanted to go to a hot dog place for lunch. And I was like, this Karen's Vegan Bistro is four minutes away, girls. Like, let's kick it. Let's go to... <laughs> we gotta check this place out. You guys all have to go. And um, they were like, oh, we want to go to this hot dog stand. You're going to have to do some convincing. So here I am at this professional success leadership conference <sighs> needing to convince these other leaders to go to this raw vegan cafe. There was a great presentation about how redwood trees, these giant, giant trees, all have connecting roots underneath them and we all have to work together to make something bigger than ourselves, you know? Something crazy. We can all do everything if we work together. The woman also said a really sweet quote. She said, when you see someone, your heart smiles. And that's really what success is all about, is making someone smile. It's about happiness. I am so successful when I eat something because I'm making the world a better place. I'm making people happy when I eat something. Every time I eat something, I'm being so As a raw vegan, nothing gives me more success than putting something in my mouth that isn't mass produced and destroys the planet. Like, I'm so successful. I wake up so excited about everything. I'm never groggy. I feel amazing. I just want people to feel the amazingness that I feel. Raw vegan, that's the most nutritionally superior restaurant anyone could think of. That is the healthiest diet ever. All the nutrients are right there. As fitness professionals and leaders, we should go to the most healthy place ever because we're trying to be the best healthy people we can be, right? We gotta show everyone what we got. As leaders, it's our duty to go in there and show people that it's awesome and cool to eat something that's good for you and good for the planet. Doesn't that make so much sense? <laughs> How do I convince these people to go to this restaurant? Oh my gosh. How selfish can you be? Oh, I'm afraid it's going to taste bad. I don't know. Mm, I really want a hot dog. Oh, that sounds good. Okay, cholesterol, 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 fat, 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 fat. Eat something that's easily assimilated by the body, something that's bioavailable to give you as much energy as you need, as you just... This isn't even like people say to me, oh, all you eat is salad. It's like we were going to go to a sick, nasty, gourmet place. Like, cool, yeah, you want a hot dog, you want to mass produce some innocent animal. Okay, I'm not trying to be a vegan hippie animal pusher on you. I'm not trying to make you lose weight. First of all, no, I didn't get into veganism to lose weight. I wanted to be healthy. I wanted to be the best me that I could be. And that's what being successful is all about. Especially in the fitness world, like, taking care of your body, that's what it's all about. But besides the selfish aspect of it, which gets people to get into it in the first place, to just make people happy, to make the world a better place, that's a pretty big thing. Like, you don't realize that every time you decide to eat something, every single, it's a simple choice. Or to make the world a better place, to the greater good of America, to be sustainable and vibrant forever, or you're deciding to it was so good like what do these people think that vegans don't have taste buds or something like honestly we don't eat dirt like it was the world we live in right now and it's kind of creepy you know what i mean you don't even know where your food comes from no one knows anymore okay now i'm going off on a rant the bottom line i'm just trying to convince these people to go to karen's raw vegan bistro fitness instructor you have to have energy you know what more energy can you get from the foods that are best working with your body, the foods that make you feel good on the inside. You don't need to sit for an hour and digest before you go work out and teach a class. Heck no. I shouldn't even need to try to convince them. I for your health, for your kids' health, for the health of America, but for everyone everywhere. Just try it. Karen's Raw Vegan Bistro, just try it. Just go. That's all I ask. You know, between this and that, 
just try it out. Check my blog. And from the bottom of my heart, I hope that you find every happiness. I hope that you feel as amazing as I feel all the time. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Good luck.